tanning drug could prevent skin cancer. Scientists have developed a drug that can tan human skin without the harmful effects of ultraviolet radiation. In tests on skin samples and mice, researchers found a way to trick the skin into producing melanin. Ultraviolet light causes the skin to tan by damaging it. This starts a chain of chemical reactions in the epidermis that eventually leads to the production of dark melanin, the body's natural sunblock. Researchers have developed a drug that, when applied to the skin, triggers the process of producing melanin without the need for UV light. Tests of the drug were conducted on mice before they were experimented on samples of human skin. Even without exposure to UV rays, the human skin cells darkened as they would when exposed to sunlight. The study also showed melanin produced from being triggered by the drug was able to block harmful UV rays. The drug still needs to go through more safety testing and is not yet ready for commercial use. Researchers eventually hope to combine their drug with sunscreen to provide maximum protection from the sun. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Here's some more videos about your body's largest organ. Jigger fleas burrow so deep you have to cut them out. If you've just returned from South America or Sub-Saharan Africa, and you find this white spot with a dark center dot on your feet or hands, watch out. Because it could be jiggers, or chigo fleas, which are common parasites in tropical and subtropical areas with dry, warm soil and sand. While jiggers can appear in beaches, farms, and wooded areas in countries like Uganda, Tanzania, and Kenya, locals who go around barefoot are most often affected by them. Chigo fleas feed on warm-blooded hosts, such as humans and cattle, when their skin is exposed. While male jiggers will leave after a nice bloody meal, females aren't that easy to shake off. They burrow headfirst into the host's skin, leaving the tips of their tails outside. Over the next one to two weeks, they can swell considerably, incubating eggs and causing an intensely irritating skin infection called tungiasis. The eggs are laid outside the skin and fall onto the ground before they hatch. In extreme cases, the host's skin becomes flaky and a scalpel is required to cut out the jigger. Alcohol or disinfectant is then applied. The painful wounds can make daily activities such as walking difficult. Jiggers can also cause gangrene, tetanus, and blood poisoning, which can be fatal. Fumigation of affected areas can help eradicate the bugs. People living in jigger-infested areas are encouraged to wear shoes for protection. Drug allergic reaction peels away 90% of students' skin. A Georgia grad student was left almost blind and without a vast majority of her skin following a rare allergic reaction to a common drug used to treat seizures and mood disorders. Meet Kalia Shaw, a public health graduate student at Georgia College and State University. Back in 2013, Shaw was diagnosed with bipolar disorder and prescribed Lamotrigin. Within a month of taking the medication, she developed a weird rash on her face and noticed her lips were always peeling off. Doctors initially told her she had the flu, but one night she woke up with an excruciating pain and thought she was having a nightmare when her hair, face, and fingernails started to fall off right before her very eyes. Doctors decided to put the 24-year-old into medically induced coma to alleviate her pain and eventually diagnosed her with Steven Johnson syndrome. SJS is a rare disorder that starts off with flu-like symptoms and attacks the top layer of the skin, forming a rash that spreads into blisters. It eventually makes the layers of the epidermis shed and fall. The disease is caused by toxins from a drug or an infection, which if not treated can even prove fatal. Shaw woke after five weeks to find 90% of her skin, nails, and nearly all of her hair gone. The brave young woman has undergone a long road to recovery, which has included seizure treatments and months spent at a burn center. 13 months in, Shaw says it still haunts her to think about what the doctors did to her at the hospital. She had to postpone her studies because of her vision and has since started a blog to cope with the impact of her unfortunate illness. Harvard researcher grows maggots from his skin. A Harvard University entomologist successfully grew botflies under his skin as an experiment. It began when a female botfly laid eggs on the belly of a mosquito. This mosquito then bit entomologist Pietro Nasgrecki, who was busy taking pictures of frogs in a rainforest in Belize. 
As the mosquito was feeding, the eggs hatched and tiny larvae crawled into Naskreki's skin. As the larvae enter human skin, the immune system automatically sends white blood cells to attack them, which for the larvae are tasty snacks. Naskreki said three larvae survived the first week after he got home. However, one of them was particularly active and painful, so he decided to get rid of it but kept the other two. Ten weeks later, two beautiful botfly larvae were ready to crawl out of Naskreki's body. Why did he do it? According to Naskreki, I figured that being a male, it was my only chance to produce another living, breathing being out of my flesh and blood. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. New technology turns skin into smartwatch touchscreen. A team of scientists have developed a new technology that can make the skin on your arm act like a touchpad for a smartwatch. The skin track technology requires the user to wear a ring and a sensor attached to a smartwatch strap. The sensor has four electrodes that are used to receive the high frequency electrical signals. These signals are emitted by the ring when the finger touches the skin and calculates the exact position of the finger. The technology allows the user to swipe and tap his or her arm to interact with the smartwatch. The user is even able to paint a picture on the arm. The user can also drag apps off the watch and place them onto the entire arm. Hotkey commands can activate functions through shortcuts. For example, users can simply write an S on the arm to silence an incoming call. There are no concrete commercial plans for the skin track. The team says it is working on supplying constant power to the ring and maintaining a steady signal when the body is in constant motion.